here we go again up the shed just to give you a little um, update on what I've been up to um, hopefully you can hear me a bit better this time I think I had my finger over the um, side of the camera last time I'll get upgrade the camera soon by the way gonna go for a GoPro so you get a bit, a bit better footage so here we go so what I've done I got rid of the little seat that I had the little green one that was too low for when I'm sitting on I got myself a cooler well it was the cooler that was in the loft um, it had uh, the cooling system in the top, it's an electrical cooling system, so what I did, I undid all this, took out the, the heavy bit, so it's just a nice lightweight lid, that to sit on, I've got to fill these holes up on the top in a minute, but inside there you'll see, I've attached, I've got a block there with a hook coming around the outside, same as this one, I've got the rod holes the back held with the wood in there as well another one on this side in there this bracket which goes through to these hooks which then i threaded a, a nice strap right around the board i didn't want to drill them into the board at all it goes right away underneath the board around the other side around the other side where i've got a good old ratchet strap i'm going to get some new ones of these so i can cut so i can get the ratchet up to about here so i can just link it off but that makes that absolutely solid that's the lids on top i've got loads of storage inside there for uh, lures whatever i've got lunch whatever so that's fine so let's get that back back on the right way lock the handle over so that gives me a good seat to sit on at the back i've made a couple of rod holders which i've fixed onto here made up the rod holders with the notches in for the reels to sit in that's solid you're never gonna that's absolutely solid solid as a rock and i've stood on it and stood up on here and to sit on that seat is the perfect sitting position for fishing paddling as well um, so that's brilliant the other one was too low too low on the ground um, then what I've gone, I've the good old faithful milk crate. I've only got one strap around it at the moment, so I'm going to get two straps. I have one on, one on here, and one on here, and that will just stiffen it up a little bit more. I've got a couple of these clips, one there and one there, to lock my paddle in place, so I can stand up, paddle, come in, lock that into position. I was going to have um, some form like an envelope here to stick the paddle in, so the paddle was upwards. When I'm going along but I thought that's going to get in the way of the fishing rod so I'd rather sit the paddle down lock it into place in here I'm going to have a safety tether on the on the paddle as well just in case and then inside the um, box itself I've got place for my anchor and wherever I want to put in there that's at the moment the anchor's in there so that's really good uh, what else we've we got the next thing is I've got down here let me get this and we'll come back on again. And there, I've got a little electric trolling motor, which I had um, quite a while ago from my little kayak. Um, so it's got a little bracket on here. I'm going to fix it onto here. What I thought of doing, I don't really want to drill a hole in the back of this board. I might have to. It's a solid foam board, so I don't, as long as I seal it off with um, sealant when I drill through drill through in that hole in there hold it on um, it's only very, very 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 light so the only other thing was I might fit a bracket onto the back of this box almost like a fold down bracket with a piece of wood which runs right away along along the board here and then sits about here and then I can fix that to on the back anyway that's so just a lovely height underneath it's only a very small motor, um, but it will help me push along if I'm going against the current. That will just help. And it's so light, I won't even notice it's there. It, it clicks up, clicks up out of there, like so. So I can have it folded flat as well if I get into the shallows. I've got that. I've got the tether on it. It's very hard to do this one-handed. That clicks back into there. I've got a tether on it, which will go up there, which when I pull... It pulls it out of the water. Um, then I've got the electrical electrical box, which I fit it up on my kayak. That was a good one. So I fit it up on my kayak. 
up on here. Get out drop it again. So I also have this electrical box which I made up. It looks very bodged up, but in there is a on and off switch on the top there, on and off. So I can turn it off. I can fix that onto the side of here and just click that on and off. Um, I've got the electrical connection which I can put in the hole in the top of this lid, feed that through there, seal this all off, make all that waterproof, and then of course inside the old box I can have my little golf buggy battery, which I've got there, I've had a long time as well. So it's just a little something extra to fit on the back here. On the back of that, imagine that on the back of here. Just click that in there. So that's gonna fit on the back like that. Just give me a few pounds. It's, it's only, I think it's only I don't know, six, eight pounds. I think they call it for, for the propulsion, but it's got a nice little propeller on it and it works really well. I had it on the kayak just to help me along and it's so light, it's not gonna make any difference. So that's going to look quite cool on the back of the board. The lovely seat, the rod holders, two rods in there. Solid as a rock that is. It's never going to go anywhere. Somewhere comfy to sit on. I'm going to put some nice foam on the top here. That's nice and comfy to sit. I've got the front box on here, the front uh, good old milk crate, which I can store excess stuff in there. I'll even chuck a box of lures in there if I want to when I'm fishing up, up on the top when they're not in the box. And I've got a place for my paddle to go. So um, that's it, we're getting there. Um, all exciting. Um, I'm just pleased to get this um, seat in because it's so much better the height. I can sit on top of here, sit on top of here and stand up and sit down without bending down at all. Where there's that little, that little chair that I had, which is here, this little chair, it was just too low sitting on there. I have to fold that, unfold this difference in height that's where I could have sat but it's a mile away so if I'd have sat in there to then stand up with the paddle board it would have been a real I'd have had to have a, a rope to pull myself up but here it's straight from sitting position slight bend of the knees and I'm standing upright so that's null and void I'll get rid of that one that can go on the kite so, uh, so there you go so there there she is little motor on the back on there but I'll keep souping it up and I'll have a trial run and um, when I have a trial run, which might be at the weekend, um, I'll let you know some more. Alright, cheers for now and take care.